Fade out one. Fade in three. Pizza Flicks Television Division presents... Suspense. If it's not going to do any good, I know it. Well, what's the matter? Oh, everything, just everything. What? Oh, everything. My head splitting, Jane. Well, what did she do? Where is she? Oh, she disappeared again. I, I, I swear I don't know what I'm going to do. Now, take it easy, Grace. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but, but, but it won't do any good. Oh, let's give it a chance. It's a waste of time. Do you want to break it up now? It all seems so hopeless. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll get the car and you go find Jane, hmm? Second near Houston. Yeah, dog bite. Three kids. I had to shoot the dog. Now, uh, rabies. Well, they acted like it. Yeah, I got three bullets all in the dog. Say, lady. Lady, will you bring those three kids that got bitten over here? Hey, look, is that ambulance coming in? Yeah. I'll put that for my report. All right, pick up the dog, too. Are these the kids? Yeah, these are three. I tell him, don't play with dogs. Don't play with dogs. Every day, I tell him. What's your name, son? What they gonna do? No, no. Are you his mother? Yes. So what am I going to do with him? Every day, I tell him, don't play with dogs. Now, you kids stick around. I've got to find out where you live so I can get your folks. Well, he's not my father. How do you spell Sheffalo? Every day, I tell him, does he listen to me? No. And now, look at him. Please, what is going to happen to him? Address? A 281 second. Please, what is going to happen to him? Now, he's going to be all right. We're getting a doctor. Will he hurt me? No, Sonny, he won't hurt you. Of course he will. What do you think? Oh, Maybe oh, now you can't oh, hey, oh, hey, take it easy, lady. The kid's scared. Oh. What about me? Do so I have no feelings? Please, what is going to happen to him? I tell you, he's going to be all right. The doc in the hospital is going to fix him up. You see, we've got to examine the dog first. We've got to take him to the lab, put him under the microscope. And that way we can tell if he's got rabies. Oh, rabies? No. Now, do you understand what rabies is? It's a sickness? That's right. Now, if the dog has it, the kid will have to get some treatment. Treatment? Oh, he's going to be all right, Mr. Oh, Chaperone. It's only if he didn't get the treatments in time, then it would be bad. Now, Jackie, where did he bite you? My leg. Well, let's see now. Easy now. That doesn't hurt too much, does it? 
Jackie, Jackie, you're a pretty good oh, kid not to cry. Oh. Oh. All right, Jackie, you're going to be all right. The doctor in the hospital, Tommy's going to fix you all up. Don't Jackie, oh, no, no, sit down. Stay off of that. Michael, Patrick, Dennis, two ends. Number 389. My mother's not home now. She works. Well, we'll get in touch with her. Now, where did the dog bite you? Here. Oh, my. Hey, he really got you, didn't he? Yeah. Huh? Are you going to put this in the papers? I guess so. I've seen a story about a mad dog once in the papers. Please, at the ambulance. When does she come? We're going to ride in an ambulance. Yeah. Oh, boy. Where's the other one? I don't know. Well, the little girl. Where is she? She was right here. This one right here? Are you the little girl that got bitten? No. Where's the other little girl? Did any of you people see her go? No. Well, I, I saw her. Which way did she go? Well, I don't know which way she went, but she was standing right there in front of me, and she I don't know where she went and how she got away. But she was Is there a little girl here that got bitten? Hey, hey, Mr. Mister, Mister. Yeah? I, I see her. She got big face. Do you know her name? No, I don't know her name. Well, does she live around here? I guess so. Jackie, do you know her? She was here just a minute ago. Well, what did she run away for? I don't know. Hey, look at the ambulance. We're going to ride now. Yeah. you stay in front of the house as I told you? Oh, look at your dress. Have you been playing with that Miller dog again? I didn't go anywhere. Well, you certainly didn't stay in front of the house as I told you. Why, I, I've been up and down the block looking for you, screaming my lungs out for you. Well, I swear people must have thought I was a lunatic. No, no, have you been playing with that dog? No! You're telling me the truth, Jenny. Yes! Oh, look at the time your father will be here. Hello? No, 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 I, I don't know anything at all about it. Well, well, let me talk to Helen, will you? What are you doing, Janie? I'm getting my radio. Now, you're not going to take that with you? Yes. Oh, for heaven's sake, Janie, can't you live three weeks without a radio? Hello. Oh, he hello, Helen. I explained to you yesterday all about the Brisbane account. Oh, well, well now, now no more phone calls. We'll be going soon. Thank you, Helen. Goodbye. If we get away from that, if we get away from my office, if we get away from all the mess that's got us down, well, let's try it. Hmm? All right. Now, you've been working too hard. So have I. We owe it to little no, Jane. We'll try. That's a girl. Oh, Janie, that radio. What's that in your wrist? What happened? I scratched it. Let me see it. No, you're hurting me! Jamie, I want to see it. No, you're I'm hurting me! I'm not hurting you. Yes, you are. I know when you're hurting me. Well, well, what did you do to yourself? Nothing. Nonsense. Well, let me take this Band-Aid off so I can see it. Ow! Oh, yeah. All right, now, kids, now, just stand oh, by. Step back there. Now, well, 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 Eagle Eye. Hey, there's another little girl missing. I gotta call headquarters. Give me Lieutenant Yuri at headquarters. Hey, listen, Sammy. Yeah? If it turns out the dog was mad, well, that little girl's going to be out of luck. You know what I mean? 
Well, you've got to get to her. You've got to find her. Where was she bitten? On her hand, I think. She was holding it. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That means you haven't got any time at all. Look, Sammy, you've got to get to her quick before it's too late. You've got to get to her quick when the bite's on the hand. I've seen it happen, Sammy. One day, two days. Well, come on. Get them rolling, will you? Okay, Hello. Sir, Lieutenant? Right. Yeah. Okay. Just a minute, lady. Who are you? Oh, please, sir. I'm his mother. Is he going to be all right? Yeah, lady, yeah. He's going to be all right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right, Lieutenant. Yeah. One of the little girls is missing. I'm going down to the hospital with the rest of them. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, check with me after you've taken them to the hospital. Get me a copy of your report. Give me Thompson, will you, Joe? Yuri speaking. Three children bitten. The dog killed and on the way to the lab. It looks like rabies. Now get this. One of the children is missing. A little girl, six to eight years old. Medium brown hair worn in pigtails. Bite on wrist or hand. I put in a general alarm. All precincts immediately. Check all residences. Get a follow-up on any leads. We haven't got much time on this. The report from the lab shows it's rabies. We gotta find that child in 24 hours in 24 hours or else we'll find her dead. Yeah, listen, give it to the papers and tell them to play it up. Give it to the news services, get it on the radio. Notify them to interrupt all local programs. That kid must be found at once. No. That didn't hurt, did it? It's only a scratch. I don't know why you're carrying on so. Hello. Oh. No, no, I know I didn't give you an address, and I'm not going to. What is it? Oh, it's the office. Hang up. Well, but they want an address. Hang up. Look, I didn't give it to you because I don't want to be bothered. I don't want any phone calls. I don't want any mail. I don't care what happens. <laughs> hey, you satisfied? Ah, they're so at my place, too. What do you think we ought to leave the address? Oh, why? What can happen? The three of us will be together. Okay, we all ready? Sure, Fine. yes. Oh, now, Janie, you're not going to take that with you. Yes! Ooh. Well, it's broken. <laughs> and that settles that. <laughs> now, now, for heaven's sake, Janie, stop crying. I want my radio! Well, you're not going to take it, and that settles it. <laughs> oh, Janie, look, there's no point in taking a broken radio. <laughs> oh, Janie, Janie, stop it. I can't stand it. Oh, 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 no, here. <laughs> yeah, well, what happened to your wrist? <laughs> I don't know. She, she scratched it. Well, let's get out of here because that phone, before the phone rings again. All huh? right. Listen, Grace. We're going to get really far away, aren't we? Far, far from everything, huh? Are we? Yes, indeed we are. Is it going to be fun, Daddy? Oh, lots and lots of fun. Yes, come on. <laughs> In just a moment, we'll see the second act of this evening's suspense story. But right now, I have a little story for you. A story about a magician who had promised to appear at a special Thanksgiving Day performance. Now, this magician, Marvelous Merlin by name, was world-renowned for his famous disappearing act. Ah, but when his automobile began acting peculiar due to faulty spark plugs, Marvelous Merlin tried his entire bag of tricks, but the trouble with his car just wouldn't disappear. Well... It didn't take any mystical knowledge to know that what Merlin's car needed for smoother performance was a set of those new wide-gap Autolite resistor spark plugs. Yes, sir. Now, let me show you why. What gives you this smoother performance is the famous wide spark gap. You know, it took years of research to make this wide gap practical, but Autolite finally did it. You see, friends, the secret of the wide spark gap setting is the revolutionary new 10,000-ohm resistor that's built into every Autolite resistor spark plug. This built-in Autolite resistor, exclusive with Autolite, is the first real advancement in automotive-type spark plugs in a good many years. Well, what does that mean to you? It means four big advantages. First of all, from the minute you install Autolite resistor spark plugs, you'll find that your car will give you smoother performance with leaner gas mixtures at low speeds and when it's idling. Naturally, because you'll be able to use leaner gas mixtures, you'll use less gas. 
Another thing you'll find that Autolite resistor spark plugs actually check radio and television interference. And what's more, Autolite resistor spark plugs will give you up to 200% longer life at that wide spark gap. Yes, sir, four big advantages. So why don't you take my advice and see your nearest Autolite dealer tomorrow. Have him install a set of wide gap Autolite resistor spark plugs in your car. Say, talk about magic. You should see the change in Merlin the Magician's automobile when we took the old worn-out spark plugs out and put in a set of wide-gap Autolite resistor spark plugs. May I have a statement for my sponsor, I asked him as he drove away. And he replied, I think your Autolite resistor spark plugs are wonderful. My hat's off to Autolite. <whistles> and even the rabbit chimed in. You're always right with Autolite. Now, the second act of the third one. Yeah. Well, follow up on it and get back to me. Now, Lieutenant, I think she must have gone somewhere with her family. One of the kids said she told her that she was going away. Lots of people are still away on vacation. We're on business. We've got the state police on it. We've alerted the neighboring states, too. Did you note the time on your report? On the dog bitter? Yeah. Oh, it was a little before 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Yeah. Say, did the uh, lab report on the dog come in yet? Yeah. It's rabies. Listen, Lieutenant, I was wondering. Maybe her folks will see that she's sick and take her to the doctor themselves, even if we don't get to them. No, she won't look sick until it's too late. Not at all. No, she's... Sometimes it heals and sometimes it doesn't. She begins to run a temperature tomorrow. The light will begin to hurt her eyes. And then she's as good as dead. You got all the details in here? No further descriptions, no further leads? No. I'll circulate it, see what it does. We're gonna have to depend on the radio and the papers, though. And if the folks don't listen to the radio or don't read the papers, God help her. Finally. She's overtired. She's coughing so restlessly. Well, she'll be up as usual at six o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, I don't think we've had a, an hour's good sleep since she's been married. Well, poor little kid when she was born, ever since that time. Let's not talk about it, Robert. There's no use in dissecting it. Why? Because we can't do it calmly. I feel calm. Do you? <clears throat> Perfectly. Yes, I've been examining myself. <laughs> what did you find? I found that I was jealous of your career. That's why I raved about all those phone calls and the hours you keep and the attitude toward Jane. Oh, my attitude toward Jane is no worse than yours. <laughs> Probably not. What tape is that? Telly. I picked it up when you're out for the groceries. Thought you weren't going to buy any papers. No, I didn't read it. What was Jane saying about the radio? She was disappointed because there wasn't one here. Oh. What a dreadful story. Uh, what? The girl was bitten by a mad dog. We can't find her. Where was it? Around our neighborhood somewhere. Do you know why it's called hydrophobia? Oh, why? Right. It, it, it isn't because they're afraid of water, but, but because they can't swallow. The, the throat muscles are paralyzed. Paral paralysis comes in spasms and twists the whole body. So they say if they can't find her by tomorrow morning to start the treatment, she'll die. Oh, poor kid. Oh, they're always getting into some kind of trouble. Jane's doll. I'd better take it up to her. Oh, hello. 
Oh, hello, Mrs. Saperoni. Hiya. Hiya there, Jackie. How's your leg? Hi. I'm afraid you let him out of my sight. Ah, he's all right. You won't have any trouble with him. Did you find the little girl? No. Haven't found a thing. No, we've searched everywhere trying to find somebody you know her. Nobody knows who she is. But you have to find her today, no? For the treatment. That's right, in the next couple of hours. You mean it's almost too late? Poor little one. Now your Jackie's lucky. Poor little one. Laura! Laura, get away from that dog! Easy now, ladies. Oh, Come on. Easy. Easy. It has to be tighter as a slip up. But I don't want it tight. It hurts. There. Now, for heaven's sake, Janie, try to keep it clean until tonight. Now, leave it alone, Janie. It isn't better by Saturday. I'm going to have your father take you to the doctor. I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> it's better. I don't know why you gave yourself such a scratch. <laughs> I'm going to have to get you new socks when we get back. Oh, Janie, stop it. Sit down. You're making me nervous. Janie, Janie, what on earth is the matter with you? Where did Daddy go? All right, I don't know. Come Didn't on. he tell you? He just said he was going to come. When will he be back? Oh, I don't know. Oh, soon, I Janie, why don't, why don't you go down to the lake to play? I don't want to. Well, is something bothering you? No. Oh, here, here comes Daddy. Now. I had to go to Harrison. Oh, what'd you go for, Daddy? Why didn't you take me? What's in the box? What do you say, Grace? I don't know. It was your idea. Oh, oh she's been getting on my nerves. Oh, shall I give it to her? Oh, huh? please, Mommy. Well, you might as well. What is it? Oh, oh radio! Oh, Daddy! I got a portable so we could use it on picnics. Come on, we'll plug it in the socket in here. Come on. Jenny, Jenny, for heaven's sake, turn it down. Oh, that's loud. Oh, do you like it? Oh, yes. I'll show you how to fix it. We won't use the battery up. Now, you're going to be a good girl? Yes. Did you put the soda on, Ice Cream? Uh huh. Jenny, would you get the soda and some glasses, too? You want something? Well, this is so near to lunch now. Oh, this is a vacation. All right, then. Well, turn, turn that thing on. Oh, off. yes. How is your headache? Oh, about the same. This is going to do us all a lot of good. Will it? Oh, I, I hope so. We were so happy once. What happened? Jane? Well, the other people with children and jobs. Sometimes I feel as if, as if I was caught up in a storm and, and everything was rushing by me and, and I couldn't hold on to anything, anything at all. Not even what I wanted most. I don't know what I want. <clears throat> now, don't you need us first? Oh, here, I'll fix it. <laughs> don't you think that we ought to be a little bit more considerate, Janie? Mm -hmm. Janie, turn it off or put it on one way or the other. You'll break it, Dad. And now for a look at the local news. A three-alarm fire created a subway jam up this morning in the Carlton Street area, delaying all trains for 70 minutes. One fireman was overcome by smoke, but no other injuries were reported. The search for the little girl bitten yesterday by a rabid dog has spread into neighboring states on the belief that she may be vacationing somewhere with her family. An appeal has been issued to the general public. If you know of a little girl six to eight years old, Jeannie, get it injured out. in any way, please telephone your local police at once. You may be able to save her from a frightful death. <laughs> Janie, hurry, do you hear me? <laughs> Your father's trousers are stopping. <laughs> what is the matter with you, Janie? What's the matter, Janie? Why didn't you answer me? Didn't you hear me, Janie? Now, wait a minute. What's wrong, Jane? Nothing. <laughs> There's something wrong. Uh, tell us, what, 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 what's happened? Did something happen? She's done something. What's she done? What have you done, Janie? What's she done? Well, I don't know. She, she just turned the radio off and, and then started to cry. Was there something on the radio? No! No, I'm, I'm sure. No! Jane, Jane tell, us, tell us, maybe, what happened? Was there something on the radio? What was he saying? I don't know. I... Something about subway. Yes, <laughs> so there was something else, too. Look, 
Miss Janie, if you don't tell us what it is, I don't know about, what we're going to do about it. There was something it. about a little girl. But, but, uh, <laughs> Janie, Janie, what was it? Tell us what it was. No, he didn't bite me! He didn't bite me! Oh, my God. Robert, that, that story, you know, Janie? It was Janie. Get on the phone right away. Uh, Miss Janie, why didn't you tell us, baby? Why didn't you tell us? Oh, Daddy, I'm scared. Oh, baby, it was about the little dog. Yes. Oh, why didn't you tell us, baby? Why didn't you tell us? I was afraid you'd go, baby. Oh, darling. You told me not to play with dogs, and you're always scolding me. Oh, Daddy, I'm scared. He said he'd be right here at the time. Yes, I think we're not simple. No, it's going to be all right, baby. It's going to be all right. Robert, why didn't she tell us? She was afraid that we'd scold. Oh, darling. Oh, Robert. Robert, this is all our fault. Will I be all right? Oh, yes, darling. From now on, we're, we're all going to be all right. visitor in your house, a visitor who held you hostage to ensure his safety. What would happen? Be sure to watch next week for Man in the House, another thrilling mystery calculated to keep you in suspense, presented on radio and television by Autolite.